Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and it's gonna be a merch day. So I'm gonna go around downtown Disney. Maybe we'll go inside of Disneyland, but we are gonna look at all of the latest merchandise to come out around the parks. So come along with me, let's hang out and yeah, let's look at merchandise. They're playing my song. Can you hear? The Tiki Room song because yeah, I'm a Tiki girl now. I am a somewhat Tiki enthusiast. I'm trying to be, but anyway, I'm just trying to show you the clouds. Look at them. Don't they look kind of picture perfect? I don't know, the clouds have been really good the past couple days. It has been a good cloud day. Dear Lord, it is a very hot day today. I'm not even gonna say warm. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it, it is hot. And I have never been prouder to be a hat girl, but I don't own that many hats, so the reason why I wanted to look at merchandise at all today was because I was kind of in the mood. I was like, should I get a new hat? Maybe. We shall see if one strikes my fancy. But I was also thinking like, I don't think that I'm gonna collect hats the same way that I collect ears, but you never know. You never know what life will have in store for you. As soon as I walk into World of Disney, I do see that they restocked this long sleeve shirt that is part of the Mickey and Co, no, Mickey and Pals, Mickey Cartoon Pals um, collection. I didn't, no, I didn't get that right. <laughs> But let's see, it's $39.99 and this does come in and out of stock. It's a long sleeve men's shirt. It does have cuffs at the sleeves. Mickey is screen printed, so this is like one with the fabric. It is very nice. And then let's see, on the back it has the little peace sign. Although, you know, I never even got to see that one beigey sweatshirt that had the little peace sign like right on the chest. I never even got to see that in real life because it sold out so quickly. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but World of Disney is kind of calm right now. And I don't know why. It, also, the air conditioning does feel pretty chilly. Sometimes it's not that cold in World of Disney. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a little update. The Outdoor Voices collection is all 30% off. And it looks like they have basically all the sizes. I know this is probably going to be the first thing to sell out, this white dress. They have the goofy dress. They have, like, everything. So if you were kind of... You know, you were like not sure about it. I feel at 30%, it's a pretty good price. I'm giving you updates on all the old stuff first. I'm sorry, it's just all the things that are catching my eye right as I walk in. So I apologize, but I just want to say the Peter Pan collection totally has my heart with how adorable all of the illustrations, the colors, everything together. It's very precious, very classic Disney. That is totally what I gravitate towards. Okay, the Spirit Jersey is $80. I really love this. It's like acid washed Peter Pan. And let's see, oh my gosh, it has Peter's face on the front and it's like a medium weight, you know? It's way too hot to wear this right now. But then I also love the windbreaker. Love, love, love the windbreaker. I love the colors because it is a super deep indigo at the very top. It fades into the cerulean blue. It is gorgeous. Okay, $60 for this. The only thing is that it's not, it doesn't, I wish it had like more pockets. Okay, so it has these two. I wish it was like a Lululemon type of jacket with like all the little pockets, all the little internal organization. That would be amazing. But yes, very cute. I've spotted a mini collection of new clothing items and these are definitely giving me fall vibes with these muted colors. But we do have some tank tops, some shorts to help ease with that fall transition. But the first thing I'm saying, okay, so this shirt right here, it says, Dear person behind me, I hope you have a magical day at the park. Sincerely, the person in front of you. I don't think I've ever seen Disney do something like this, but it's very cool. I like the colors, the muted teal, that nice warm orange. And this shirt is a very warm, creamy color. It actually has some stretch to it. And it feels a little bit like thicker perhaps than a regular t-shirt. And then it even has a baseball tee cut. Let's see, it's $39.99. And then let me show you the front. Ooh, it says, I hope you have a magical day at the park. The same thing. Oh, but this is flocked. Do you see? It's a little velvety, which is kind of cool. There's a pullover crew neck, but also a hoodie, a nice zip up hoodie right here. And the first thing that catches my eye with the hoodie is that the hardware is this really nice shiny gunmetal. And I love the way it looks with the deep teal. Ooh, and then also look at this. Okay, I think these are called aglets. Yes, I think so. Anytime you have like a tie, like a shoelace or some pants or a hoodie, these are called aglets. And I like that they match the color of the sweatshirt. It has a castle right there. It is nice and distressed. And then the print, let's see, what does it say? Magic every day. Ooh, it's very like whimsical. I would say very playful with the colors. And then Disneyland down on the side, it's giving a vintage vibe with how distressed everything is. And then let's see. 
Oh, this is so fun. It says happiest place on earth. And then in terms of the thickness, this is actually a very, very lightweight sweatshirt. This would be wonderful for the transition into fall. And then this, let's see, it's not too thick. We love that. Okay, $60. The pullover crew neck is $55. It's made out of that same very nice, like lightweight jersey material. You can see it's French terry. And it's it, the cut, okay, I will say the cut looks interesting. So it's very relaxed with a drop sleeve, but do you see how slim the arms are? So it's not gonna be a very traditional oversized fit, I don't think. This is an extra small, by the way. But the the like torso is still pretty thin, a little bit long. I don't know, I feel like you would have to try this on. This might be a little bit funky, but it does have flocking. Oh my gosh, all the beige is velvety. It definitely is giving fall vibes. And then in a blocky typeface, it says, take care of yourself with a walk in a Disney theme park. Oh my gosh, yes. We love that. Okay, and then down the sleeve, it has the Disneyland D with the castle and 55 for 1955, all in that velvet flocking. And nothing on the back, but did I mention the price? It's 55. For $35, there's a women's tank top right here that is a really nice heathered beigey mustardy material and it gives it even more of a vintage vibe. It's nice and thin too. And then these seams right here, we have an unfinished hem, which gives it an even more relaxed vibe and then kind of like a sienna, like a very faded sienna type of color at the collar. And then it says, in my favorite place with my favorite people, ooh, it's flock too. I do like that. It makes it feel even more fall-like. And then of course, the Disney castle in the middle. There's men's shorts for $40, and this makes me realize that there's definitely gonna be more. I'm, yeah, there's definitely gonna be more coming in, but this is that same kind of clay sienna type of color. These are pretty thin, so they'd be really great for lounge. And then they have the aglets right here in the same creamy color as the tie, which I like. And then it says, magical day at a Disney theme park. Very nice, and it is obviously very distressed. There's pockets on the side, by the way. I'm trying to see if there's pockets on the back. No, there are not. <laughs> Looks like the new emos are all ready for Halloween. I am too. Also, I think Stitch is playing with some leaves. That is very fun. But I always come and look at the new emos at any of the stores and I'm always like, hello, friends. Um, yeah, the adult person that I am, I say that to them. And then I pat them on the heads and I tell them, you will find a home very soon. Wait a minute, I see there's an imposter. You are not a new emo. We are not fooled. But I wanted to show you they have new new emo outfits. I think this one is so cute. This is Jack Skellington, but it's a girl's dress. Oh my gosh, I can't look at the collar. That is adorable. And then we have Sally. And I love when they have hats for the new emos. This is so fun. Look, Minnie's wearing it down here. But some of the new emos do not go with the hats. You know, they, they can't wear them. Like Yoda, absolutely not. Um, Moana, maybe. Um, yeah, see, see, they can't all wear hats. Oh, Pooh? Pooh looks very cute in a hat. The munchlings have gone too far. What is going on? Sometimes they get way too oddly specific. Like there's a mini, or is it even the acai bowl or the avocado toast? It's, I feel like it's getting a little bit, you know, like how for Pokemon, when you can tell, you're like, you guys are running out of ideas. You don't know what to make next. But anyway, okay, here we have a, what is he? Come on, what is this? <laughs> A French hot chocolate Remy. Okay, well, that is pretty cute. The other thing is that I always try to smell them. There is like barely, barely a smell, I feel like. The big ones are supposed to be scented. I'm pretty sure, right? <laughs> Somebody told me that, yes, they are supposed to be scented. I can never smell the big ones. But let's see, this one, what is Mickey? He is an iced cookie latte Mickey. How oddly specific, but also the straw. Pretty cute. And then this is the mini I actually was looking for. I was like, what the, uh, I cannot. Okay, her little arms are too precious though. Come on, but she is supposed to be like an everything bagel sandwich. Yes, the munchlings have gone too far. I won't lie though, the croissant is pretty adorable. Look at the little mouse ears. I'm gonna guess this is probably a meal just by, I mean, come on, the face, the, the little teeth, the little teeth. Let's see, strawberry croissant a meal. Yeah, okay, fine. This one is pretty adorable. Maybe I need to take back what I said, actually, because this is the new blind box. And, okay, fine, they're kind of cute. Look, we have sadness as a blueberry pie. That's pretty adorable. A meal? Okay, imagine the small croissant is way too cute. Sully? Mike? Oh my gosh, Mike is really cute. I, dang, okay, I take back what I said. Maybe they haven't gone too far. This is pretty adorable. 
They've had this collection for a while. This is like the Disneyland, kind of like repeating Disneyland D logo collection. And it's very cool with the colors. I love this like almost highlighter green yellow, but I haven't seen some of these things. Wait a minute, have I even seen that? I'm not sure. I have amnesia right now, but I did see this. This is $60. This is a super thick, super plush and very fleecy like on the inside very very fleecy sweatshirt this would be so cozy when it's not 95 degrees outside but i do like the disneyland logo Ooh, aglets in that same color i feel like aglets is the word of the day and this would just be so cozy and let's see it has that blue in the hood too this hoodie i know i have not seen this is 65 dollars. it's a zip up hoodie it is also incredibly thick and very plush on the inside and then it has a lot of design going on so we have the disneyland d logo on the chest the disneyland logo going down the sleeve i also love this color this like pale highlighter type of color is really nice and then these sleeves they are cuffed they are ribbed they have striping and then some castles down the other sleeves is there anything on the back there's nothing on the back I know I have not seen this either. So this is another men's zip up hoodie and it's very plush. It's not quite as thick as the other ones and it's that highlighter type of color. Ooh, and then look at this. We have a little bit of piping at the cuff and then also at the bottom hem and it has the Disneyland repeating logo all across the chest. Let's see, $65 for this one. Oh my gosh, it even has piping on the hood. That is a fun detail. There's also men's lounge pants here for $39.99 and I really love the color. The black with the like outline drawings on top makes it a lot more subdued and it's pretty thin. It's slightly stretchy. They're straight legged but I did check and there's no pockets but then again with something this thin you couldn't really, the pockets would be of no use anyway. There's also men's sweatpants for $49.99 and then these are jogger style. They're made out of the same material the sweatshirt is so they're very thick, very plush. These would be great in later into the fall more into the winter and then they say disneyland resort down the side and then look at this aglets the word of the day we have aglets in the same highlighter type of color and i was looking to see if there was anything on the front oh on the other side of the leg it has the repeating disneyland d there's nothing like at the hip except for on the back it says established 1955 and i just feel oh no this is on the front never mind i take it back but yes i think that's kind of a cool little detail right there at the waist there are a few new Avengers items here, and they all look very sporty, very modern, pretty cool. Let's see, there's a water bottle here. This is made out of metal. And then the line art going on, it's, first off, I love the silver metallic, but the line art is definitely giving Joy Division. Is it not? Maybe it's not. That's just the first thing I thought of. And then let's see, on the back, oh, I love how fun the metallic silver looks. It says, become a legend, whatever it takes. Okay, this is $39.99. I was looking at the tag for the clothes and it says Marvel Fit, which makes a lot of sense. Okay, so this pullover hoodie, it's $70 and it's made out of like this nylon-y type of material, like windbreaker, think windbreaker, which yes, makes sense, right? Marvel Fit, but it does give it a very fun sporty vibe, obviously makes sense. Oh, and it's lined in fleece. It is fleecy in the middle. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so anyway, it has the blocky embroidered Avengers logo on the front, and then it has this little reflective patch, and then let's see on the back. Oh, it says, whatever it takes, and then it has the Avengers logo on the actual hood, and I can tell that it's also the kind of reflective material that you see on workout gear. For $50, they have the shorts right here. I think the shorts look so cool. They do have a liner. I know some guys hate liners in their shorts, but here we have the liner. Oh, and it has different character names in the print. That's very nice. And then they're very lightweight. They have some pockets. They have the Avengers blocky logo right there. And it looks like it would be reflective. Maybe not. Maybe I'm imagining things. Let's see. And then, oh, it even has a little pocket for your keys on the back for when you go on a run. There's also a new Spider-Gwen water bottle and it looks like it is made out of metal but then they coated it like in like almost like a sticker, you know what I mean? To make it look like that. It's $35 and can I just say that Spider-Gwen has the best outfit and the best colors. They look so awesome. And then there's also this like kind of neoprene sleeve right here. It's like a koozie, you know? So I bet it has like some functionality. I bet it keeps the water a little bit colder. 
playing the Winnie the Pooh have lumps and woozles song right now in the Halloween section and I love it. I'm so excited for Halloween, but I don't see anything new, but we'll, I'll look. They're playing Descendants right now and it kind of kills me that I'm enjoying it. I feel like I shouldn't like Descendants, but I do. I just do. But anyway, I also can't believe I have not shown this in a video before. This is a Disney Parks exclusive lounge fly. I feel like that was hard to say. Disney Parks exclusive. <laughs> but yes, it is a Haunted Mansion bucket bag. And I like this metal hardware right here. The gun metal looks really cool. And then it does have this plastic chain strap, which is not my favorite. It's It feels kind of cheapy. Listen to it. It's not, it's not the best. It, it has no weight, but it does have a regular strap. Let me show you. It has a plain strap right there, and then the lining is teal, and it looks like the wallpaper, which is really cool. And then it's $65. I really did want to get a hat today, but I'm in the hat section, and nothing is calling my name, and it's very sad. It is very sad. Maybe the Monsters University, but I would never... I love it, but I know that I don't really wear blue. But yeah. I'm pretty devastated. I like the Star Wars, but I'm somewhat, you know, like average lukewarm feelings on it. I like the Peter Pan, but also average lukewarm. I like the Star Wars one down here, but I would never wear that because it would look terrible on me. Oh, but I do kind of like that one, the Spider-Man one. I don't know. I'm feeling lukewarm. I'm at Pandora and it looks like they have a new Monsters Inc. collection and it's really fun. I mean, look at that giant mic right there. I think that charm is definitely my favorite. The mic one is so fun and they have this really nice glaze. So that one is green, but then the Sully one has a really pretty light blue glaze. And then the Monstropolis icon right there is really funny. I, I like them all actually. And then this one right here, it has Mike, Sully, and Boo and her little door. And then that charm also comes as a necklace. Very fun. Oh my gosh, and look, that's all of them together. I think Pandora has been doing an amazing, amazing job with the Marvel properties. So look at this. We have the eye of, is it Agumatu? I never remember, I like always pronounce it just a little bit wrong. But anyway, I think that one is freaking amazing with the chunkier chain. And then they also have some Scarlet Witch stuff. Let me find that because it looks really cool. Look at that ring. That ring is fabulous, don't you think? They also have the Infinity Stone ring, which I think is so cool too. Like I said, I am not, okay, I'm not the biggest Marvel fan, but seeing what they've been doing with the Marvel collection here makes me so excited because it just looks amazing. The Spider-Man bracelet, I mean, come on. That is so cute. The little heart with the red enamel is so cute. And then the charm with him dangling off, I, I love it. And then this over here, this is the Infinity Stone ring that I was talking about. It looks amazing. I came inside the home store and I don't come here all that often, but when I do, I love looking around because I just like all the Disney home goods. And look at this. This is adorable. So this is a little glass. It features all of these cute little icons for Donald. Oh my gosh, and there's even his hat on top of the O. But I love this little smiley faces are super cheerful, very playful. Okay, let's see, it's $14.99, but then it's not just Donald. Look, we also have Daisy. Oh my gosh, I feel like if you got one, you would have to get the other one to make it a perfect set. And the Daisy one is so fun. I love the way that they wrote her name there, and I love that they use daisies and little smiley faces. This one is very cute, and Daisy looks very adorable. And don't they look like the perfect pair? The kids' water bottles are always so cute, and it's mainly just because kids get all of the cool stuff, but also because, well, it's like smaller than a regular water bottle, so it's just cuter, you know? But this is part of the Cartoon Pals collection, and it is adorable. I love the artwork for this collection. Oh my gosh, look at Donald, his bow tie. It's very graphic and fun, you know? And I love this. This is so adorable. If only it wasn't so very small. Okay, $14.99. This water bottle is really fun. It says, love our Disney theme parks, and it has a Disney trash can and a recycle symbol right there. And I like the daisies, very nice. And then I like the metallic green and the metallic orange. 
Let's see, this is $29.99. This mug is $29.99 and it's part of the Mousewares collection, which is a permanent collection and it has all these like geometric stylized looks for all the characters, as you can see, like Mickey right there. But it's not just the mug. Do you see it has a little key ring? First off, the key ring is really cute, but it attaches these stencils, which is very unique and interesting. It looks like it comes with three of them, and the top one is Mickey. It looks like you probably get the castle, but I, okay, listen, I'm very interested to see what this would actually, like, what the outcome would be, because anytime I've ever seen somebody try to use stencils at home, it's always, like, disastrous. Like, I, it always just comes out looking like a blob, so I don't know, I'm just, I'm intrigued. This isn't new, but I thought I would point it out. Look, we have Animal, we have Muppets merchandise. We never get Muppets merchandise, but this is so cute. So silly, so fun. Let me see, $24.99, and I feel like he wants to come home with you. Inside the Emporium in Disneyland and look at what I found. This is very special. So this is a new Starbucks mug, but not just a regular mug. This is part of the Been There series and it looks like they have a new Marvel Been There series, which does get a very special box. Look at it. So this is $25 and I guess we are getting Wakanda first, but maybe hopefully soon some new locations. And I do like the colors of this, especially look at the inside glaze. Isn't that beautiful? It's this wonderful muted purple. And then we have gold and lavender on the outside. Sometimes the colors they choose for like certain locations is like, hmm, it's okay. Or the illustrations are a little bit funky. I think this one is so nice. And yes, looking forward to the other locations. I do collect the Star Wars Starbucks Been There mugs and I have a few of them now. And I'm not gonna be collecting these ones, but it would be a really nice collection to start. I think these have been pretty popular. They are Crocs that are pretty plain, right? They're all white, but they do have the Mickey head detail, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not a Crocs person quite yet, but I feel like I would like the plain ones. So they have them in white, and then they also have them black. Let me show you. Here are the black ones. And yes, they are totally plain, but that's kind of up my alley. Although, like I said, I'm not really a Crocs person quite yet, but I do love the Mickey head detail. It's very, very cute. And then you can customize them with gibbets and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, $55. Inside of Fortuosity, they have a sign that says 30% off the entire Tommy Hilfiger collection, which is very convenient. Let's see, they have, okay, I will say, it doesn't look like they have everything. They have definitely sold out of some items, but I'm trying to show you some of them. For instance, this sweater. Okay, it looks like they have limited sizing too. So it looks like they only have XL in this sweater. And then they do have a few different sizes. Yeah, it looks like they have only a few items, but also limited sizes. They have this dress. Ooh, they still have this jacket. Let's see. I think this was the most popular item in the entire collection, but unfortunately, they only have it in a size large. And either fortunately or unfortunately for you, perhaps, this was very, very oversized, so a large was probably more along the lines of like an XL, maybe even a 2X. Inside of Disney Clothiers, I'm seeing a couple items for women, including this right here, this tank top. It has a very soft V-neck. It's pretty thin, but it's also like not, it's not the softest, it's like a little bit stiff, but it does have some stretch in it. But I like that it says believe in magic in this very fun and friendly font. And it's a mixture of both embroidery and printing. So it gives it kind of a fun textured look. And I like this color, this like beigey oatmeal, and it looks really good with that bright teal. Let's see, this is $35. I pulled these off the rack thinking that they were a pair of shorts, but it's actually a sweat skirt. I think that is so cute and unexpected. It does have pockets, which is so fantastic. It has a little tie. This I feel like this has seen better days. No, it's just that it's tied very small. <laughs> and then it says magic in the air. That is really cute. And it feels nice and light. It is a French terry. So it has some texturing on the other side instead of fleece. I'm gonna assume there's nothing on the back. No, nothing but you could wear it as a little matching set. I haven't seen this shirt before. Look, it says Madame Leota, and this is part of the new Haunted Mansion collection. 
like these Crocs and specifically that backpack. It matches this. Oh my gosh, you could have an entire set. Oh, and the ears. Do they have the ears? No, they don't. There's a matching pair of ears to this collection, but this is a very nice purple, but it has a very interesting cut. So it has these little puffy princess sleeves and then it feels pretty nice, you know? It's a nice medium weight and it's heathered purple and it looks like, ooh, I love this. It's a neon pink woven tag at the bottom that says Haunted Mansion, Madame Leota, Knower and Seer of All. And then nothing on the back. Let me see, ooh, it says it glows in the dark as well. Yes, okay, $34.99. This shirt is kind of fun and playful and a little bit silly. So let me see the price. I think it is $39.99. And it says, love our Disney theme parks. I wonder if this is part of that like retro collection because look, it also has the flocking. It has the same color palette too. So, okay, all the teal, everything on this is actually flocked and velvety. And then it has the trash can, a Disneyland trash can right in the middle. And it's so silly, don't you think? And then it's a nice cream color. This is actually pretty thick. So yes, it would feel nice in the fall time and then it has a very nice ringer collar in orange There's a new spirit jersey just for Tiana and first off, I love the color It's this really pretty watery green the tie-dye looks so nice And then on the front we have some flowers and it does say princess Tiana And of course this teal print is in that puffy spirit jersey material and it doesn't have the price But most spirit jerseys are now $79.99. Let's see on the back. It says love what you do do what you love and then tiana looks really pretty right there oh that's so cute there's also this really pretty jasmine top right here it's 39.99 it's made out of black cotton like a medium weight black cotton but then the amazing detail is right here in these sleeves i think they are so pretty and it does have like an inset so it doesn't go all the way down you know the whole opening isn't that big but it gives it a really pretty drapey effect with a nice soft v-neck and the print is so pretty too, don't you think? It's like stars and moons, and then Jasmine is on the little carpet. So that's gonna do it for our little merch day, our little, well, okay, I was trying to look for a hat. I was, yeah, I was trying to search for a hat and I did not find any. I didn't find a single one that I was like, I must have it, and if I'm feeling, you know, like whatever on it, I'm not just gonna get it just for the sake of it, even though I kind of need to add to my hat collection because it's, not a lot. I just, you know, cycle through the same two, three actually, and that is it. But anyway, I guess I will just have to be patient. Patience is a virtue and I shall be rewarded with a hat that I love. But anyway, yes, I was going to say that I hope you guys saw things that you liked today. Was there anything that I... There wasn't anything that really called my name. Hmm, yeah, today was a very lukewarm day for me in terms of merch. Something is wrong with me. I don't know. But anyway, I had a fun day today and I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya.